I have to say, this year we have the absolute best decorated Christmas tree that I've personally ever had. Now I have to tell you, it didn't start out that way. In fact, at the beginning of our Christmas tree decorating journey, there was actually a little bit of tension in the air because my wife's got much more of a better eye for design than I do, but we like things to look nice. You know, we like the color schemes to kind of flow through the house, Christmas decorations. We like, you know, symmetry on the Christmas tree, nothing too overloaded, you know. And there were sort of our ideas of what a Christmas tree should look like. And then there was, you know, my daughter's ideas. And, you know, they're four and three and they're very engaged in Christmas this year, very excited about it and everything that goes along with it. And of course, decorating the Christmas tree is a big part of that. And so their goal was to get every decoration that we owned onto the Christmas tree. It didn't matter whether it was the right color scheme or where it was on the Christmas tree because they could only reach so high. But their goal was to get everything that we possibly could onto that tree. Now I gotta tell you, once I got to the point of just being like, you know what, let's just go for it. Let them go. Things just got significantly better. And the kids were just, they were just having so much fun. And I gotta tell you, when we finally finished and we stepped back and we took a photo, it was just, it's incredible. It's the most incredible Christmas tree I think we've ever had. I'm super proud of it, not because of it's amazing, but I just take pride in the moment of, you know, being there and the joy that we experienced as a family and how much fun we had. I'm not sure if you've ever had a similar experience. It doesn't have to be the decorating of your Christmas tree, but maybe it's something that God's calling you towards or a new project or new endeavor, something you're going after, or even just new goals. You start something and the, the conditions are less than ideal. You know, things things aren't going the way that you thought it would. It's not fitting into your life the way that you thought it would. Maybe your ideas aren't flowing. And then if you get to the end, to the end result of whatever it is that you've been working on. And the results can be shockingly beautiful. I think we're shocked sometimes what can, God can do through certain situations when we think that the journey has been so messy, so tumultuous, so upside down, so anything except what we thought that it would be. And then when we stand there and we look at it and we go, wow, that's incredible. That's amazing because we sort of let go of our own expectations in that journey, in that process, and all of a sudden we can be surprised by the results. As I look back over the last couple of years of writing and, and working on the sewing principle and coming to the point of releasing it just in this last year, I can't think of one instance where the conditions were perfect, where everything sort of lined up in that day. There wasn't this perfect beach hut where I sat out overlooking the water and had days to write up, write my book. It just, that never happened. And I think that's what I kind of realized a number of years ago as I was looking at it and going, yeah, I really want to write a book. I really want to write a book. I really want to write a book. And one day just kind of waking up and going, this book isn't going to write itself. And so making the decision to start and then continue on writing and, and working and editing on it, you know, and what we needed to do regardless of the circumstances. And now as I've been working on these videos, um, which, you know, thank you to everyone that's liked and shared these videos to, to you know, to uplift and encourage other people. The, the feedback's been incredible. But as I come into these days where I come into film, I'm driving here and like, I'm like, my life is a, is a mess today. Like I am all over the place. How am I supposed to go in, sit down, take my eyes off my own problems and, and hopefully share and uplift and encourage other people. But I know that I'm doing what God's calling me to do. I know that I'm stepping into his will in my life. It's never this perfect situation. It's like, I feel great about it today. I definitely know what I'm going to talk about. You know, it's all perfect, all perfectly lined up. That hasn't happened yet. Maybe it will in the future, but it hasn't happened yet. And I think that there's a lot of truth in that when we're pursuing God's call in our life, it's always, almost always going to be messy. The circumstances are always going to be less than perfect, but God's call is perfect. And he calls us towards his call, not towards a perfect journey. As we get closer to Christmas, I've been thinking about the first Christmas. I've been thinking about Mary and Joseph and that journey that they went on towards Bethlehem. I mean, talk about less than ideal uh, circumstances. Uh, my wife and I are expecting a baby early in the new year and I just going, man, I just can't imagine the conversations with my wife, you know, hey, we gotta, we gotta travel to another town. No, we can't take the car. Oh, by the way, when we get there, I don't have a place for us to stay, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll find something, right? You know, and I just can't imagine, I mean, they talk about a messy journey, but then what came out of that was so shockingly beautiful. When I look at that, I'm encouraged and go, okay, well, you know, if that's the way that it looked for Jesus coming into the world, what am I sort of stepping back from or not, not engaging in because I'm waiting for perfect circumstances. I'm waiting for things to line up up and work, you know, in my life, you know, well, when I have time, then I'll be able to write the next book, right? I'm already saying these things to myself. Well, when am I going to write another book? You know, I don't have any time. Well, I didn't have time for the first one either. So, you know, how are we going to create time to be able to do that? Where's the space that I'm going to make that fit um, and get started and going to continue? So this Christmas, as you get the opportunity to hopefully get together with family, to celebrate the birth of Christ, to give and to bless others, I hope and pray over your life that there is just incredible blessings uh, over this this time period recognize that it doesn't all need to be perfect so now as we sort of heading towards the new year 
you know, start to think about, you know, what's God calling me towards in this, in this new year? Ask him to speak into your life and give you glimpses of his vision for your life. It's going to be an absolutely incredible year ahead, but the conditions aren't going to be perfect. His call in your life is perfect, but the conditions aren't going to be. I hope you have an absolutely incredible rest of your day, and I look forward to sharing with you next week. Talk to you soon.